people, entities in this business. And it still could be, Triple H, that I became the youngest world heavyweight champion. Well, you just said that already. You just said that. Becoming a threat to you, Triple H. So what do you do? What do you do when there is a threat, like I said before, to try to take me out? Randy, when you were in Evolution, all Ric Flair and I did was make you realize your potential. That's it. We took a small little fish out of a tiny little pond and we got him ready to swim in the ocean. But Randy, once you got in that ocean, the sh But Randy, you're still that hard-headed, that hard-headed ass kid. Because you got yourself into that situation. You got yourself in that position. If you lose to the Cody Rhodes, you lost. You did that shit to your damn self. And I'm not. And I, of course, I gotta clean your damn mess. Like I've always been doing. So what? I don't want you to clean my mess. I do this shit on my own. I did just that last week. I'm well past the point. I'm well, I'm well past the point of having a merchandise table. I'm well past the point of thinking that super You know what? were yours to deal with. Now I've told you a million times, when it comes to the WWE Championship, every man for himself. It was a long... What did you think I was going to... It was a long ass time ago. On the same day. That's yeah, it was that, it's the same day. But the, thing, the fact is, I can't get over that shit. The fact that... You will have to ask those questions just prove how stupid you are. You either completely ignorant which you are, or completely just like your old man, Mr. Now I'm not gonna be going back and forth with you. You think I was just gonna hand you the keys to the world and say, have a good time, kid, and walk away? I'm never gonna walk away, Randy. But guess what? Guess what? You follow my footsteps, don't you? With legacy. You pushed them aside. You did a you just like me. <laughs> you can make all the demands you want. But I'm gonna do what I want. I make the demands. And that's what I did. I made the demands last week. When I won that elimination chamber qualifying match. And I'm going to make and continue making those demands either here at AEW or the damn. I'll do what I want when I want. I don't of the jungle. The biggest, baddest lion stays on top until a bigger, badder lion comes along and eats him. Well, that day for you, Triple H, is this Sunday. Because I am going to be beat anybody who's come in my way. You'll beat anybody who thinks that they try to be like me, but they, you know, that I know that WWE is falling apart. That you don't got the balls to speak for yourself to that son of a bitch, Mr. McMahon. But you see, you know, you know what you mean? Watch your mouth. I doubt management even knows you exist, but I promise. Promise, you don't tell me what, what to do. You don't tell me the demands. You don't tell me 
the 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 faith, the stake. No, hold on, man. doing the same as I shit to this day by my damn self and leave you bloody but I'm not concerned you see I got a lot of issues of what's going on around I got a lot to think about I got a lot on my mind right now what do you think you see I got a lot on my damn mind and I don't really give a damn anymore I'm gonna be in that elimination chamber. I know you have a plan, but that plan wasn't good enough, huh? A few weeks ago when Cody Rhodes put a damn paper bag in your head. You see, Randy, I don't know how to whoop your ass. You know, Brad, I don't mind whooping Mikey from the Goonies, Cody Rhodes, at, at all at WrestleMania. I'm not gonna be like you and fail because I'm gonna get the job done because I'm dead. Really, guys? That doesn't make any sense because currently we're the longest reigning AEW. What the hell is going on around here? It's not 2010 anymore, it's 2014. You're looking at two of the hottest wrestlers, not only in North America, but all over Japan, or on TV in Japan. But we walk around and little girls go, Mato, Nico, Young Box. <laughs> they recognize us at least make photo. No problem. I'll give you a photo. One thousand yen. Brother. One thousand yen. Daddy, oh we used God. to be your young boys back in the day. Now, <laughs> not anymore. We call the shots. Yeah. We have the biggest lines at the exactly. merch table. We sell the most epic t-shirts. We have the biggest houses. Of course we do. Yeah. We make the most money. We draw the biggest houses. Hey, Matt, but, keep, keep rubbing my ego, hey, Matt. But Jay and Mark. What the hell did... So these little scrawny little bats you got... I don't know why the hell they even doing it in my, in my damn Titan Tron. But you got those biggest houses of ripping us off. But I, I think you, I think everybody been hit in the head too many damn times because it sounds to me <laughs> like somebody got needs to get their ass kicked. <laughs> but I don't know what is going on in the production truck. But I'll tell you what. Exactly. And the next night in Chicago, yeah. so we go from that dump called Milwaukee, and we team up with Red Dragon. Red Dragon, huh? We've had some classics with you guys. Yeah, we have. I hear you guys well, are doing some things. Again, things we've had classics with absolutely every right. tag team on this planet Earth because we're used to carrying people. <laughs> yeah. Jump on our back. We'll give you a piggyback ride just like we do all these companies that we want. <laughs> Whenever the bucks come, the houses are up, the paydays are up. All
think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I think we're talking about like like uh, actual matches, and not necessarily a gimmick match like a battle royal. Yeah. I wouldn't put that on now. You all mentioned that if you all got off the dual contract, this may not exist. Looking back on that now, how do you feel it, about that? It like, literally like, blows my mind. Uh, everything happens for a reason on this earth. We're invading all of What's going on? Yo, what's going on? Oh, hell no! Goddamn limousine, man. What's <laughs> Mikey from the Goonies. <laughs> Too much. I dare them to show up and invade. If they're outside, we're, we're going to war. But Randy, I'm not finished with you I'm yet. If the Young Bucks and the Elite want to show up and fight, then I'm here to fight and go to war and kick those little brats right to the damn curb, and if the Young Bucks want the AEW Tag Team titles, which they lost, they're gonna be a bunch of losers, a bunch of rip-off artists, wanna be like us, cause they wanna be us, because so damn much. But they have to be in the building. You see, it hurts. Don't it? When you stare into the mirror and realize that you're not the man you wish you were. What about when your family makes you realize you just ain't good enough either? I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Cody. I'm talking to the young box. You know what? Big words. But I know. But I know you're spawning, you're spawning for a fight that you know isn't going to happen tonight. But mark my words, mark my words, that this Sunday, you know what? Look, when we can fight anytime, any place. You want to be a part of the Elimination Chamber match? But you have to earn it tonight. Again, tonight, here on Monday Night Raw.
tonight in a six-man tag match, which I know is not going to be that tough. Well, it might be, since everybody don't like your ass. But it's going to be a six-man tag match tonight here on Monday Night War. And if, like I said, the Young Bucks want to be here tonight and have the boss to be here. And we'll have to fight here tonight for you. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but if you think that I'm scared to compete here in this ring, then you must be full. You must be out of your damn mind. Or I must be out of my damn mind. Because you know that I know that I've been born in this place. I know that. And I don't want to hear shit coming out of your mouth. What you have to say isn't important anymore. This is war. And you sign that damn contract and you gotta deal with that damn contract. But I tell you this. That if the Young Bucks want those tag team titles, the rematch, that they gotta be here, here tonight. Hold on, let's recap. You dress yourself, put both boots on the right feet. Found, found your way to this ring and assault me. Big day for you. But I tell you this. That I know what I'm doing. Are you sure? You sure about it? You know what you're doing all right. I get it. You think everybody loves you. Well, I'm going to shut this party down. I'm going to shut their party down. And I will tell you this, that the NWA title will be on the line tonight. And all this, all this crap that you're saying about it, about me, and I know that Triple H will ego. It's all over the place, my ego. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, why would anyone think that this guy could give me any trouble? But right now, do those things, I'm trying to help you out. You son of a bitch, I'm trying to help you out. Then on the night to get you back to WWE, for you don't have to listen to what I say. You can do what you want to do because your life would be nothing. Without me, you cross the line. I don't need your help. I'm going to do this on my own. And you do what you got to do. And get their asses and not to try invade Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw like you did because karma is what goes around comes around and it's coming around in your ass once again and I'm gonna compete in this ring and I'm gonna compete in the Elimination Chamber match and I always got a plan and my plan is gonna work not like yours a lot going on. So, so Randy Orton is going to fight here tonight? But what the, the Triple H, there's so much things going on here tonight here on Monday Night Raw here in Toronto. Oh, the Butter Club. The Butter Club, Elite, whatever, the name is. Are you happy with your life?
to see the WWF. <laughs> Cody Rose is a triple H mind. He's a triple H man. Kings of Kings, now you're going to see what I've been trying to teach your ass for the longest time. It's going to be a war in Cody Rhodes. He got Triple H's message. He questions the tyranny or persecution, but from annihilation. We are fighting for our right to live. Triple H is our coming. Right and if we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. But as the day the world declares in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not bow. 